Hey guys, this is Balu and today I will show how we can create this kind of animations in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.6.5 nice. So first of all, let's clear this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delay. Now let's start this by adding a USB. So go to this add mesh, select USB here. So here I will segments increase this to 64 and rings I will increase this to 32. Now right click and shade smooth it. Now let's place the sphere here just above the grid. Now let's add a cube in order to make the steps. So go to this add mesh select a cube here. So reduce the scaling a bit here like this. Let's place this press S X and increase the scaling X axis. So now let's add a bevel modifier. So go to this modifier option add modifier add bevel modifier. So here the bevel modifier is not applied properly you can see here the segment is looking good and here it is bit off so in order to fix that just we need to apply the scaling option so select this object go to this object options apply apply scale now you can see it is symmetric all the sides so now let's apply the bevel option so press 3 on the cube for side view and let's place the cube here now let's apply rigid body physics onto this cube so select the cube come to this physics property and add rigid body and here type change it to passive and shape change it to box so if you are using a regular object make sure to change this to convex hull or mesh check which works better so for this this box is better so now let's select this usb here apply rigid body and here the type should be active and shape let's change this to sphere so here if i play this you can say this rigid body physics acting properly nice so i think we need to give this a bit here now let's duplicate the steps so shift d z and let's place this and move it in y axis like this and if you want to add another step you can add i will leave this to two steps only so now if i play this once again it bounces on these both steps and let's add a ground plane now so go to this add mesh select a plane here press s and increase the scaling and for this plane also we need to apply rigid body so select the plane rigid body and type change it to passive and shape change it to box only so if i play this now we'll have this kind of animation here so let's increase the friction value so i will place this plane here select the plane come to the surface response and increase the friction and for the steps also i will increase the friction now let's see how we can add small spheres inside this uv sphere so let's focus on this uv sphere now now let's bring this origin point here so shift s and select cursor to select it now go to this add mesh select uv sphere or else let me add eco sphere so here we got that so let's reduce the scaling press s and reduce the scaling here like this so i think this much is fine let's apply the scaling so go to this object apply apply scale so now let's apply rigid body property onto this eco sphere also so now being selected this eco sphere apply rigid body here this type should be active and let's see what will happen now so if i apply this now you can see both are getting apart so now we need to change the shape option of this echo sphere so i will change the shape to like sphere only and now if i play this still they are going outwards so let's change the shape option for this uv sphere so select the uv sphere and shape change it to mesh now let's see this now you can see this is working fine now let's duplicate this echo spheres so being selected this echo sphere let's press one on the keyboard for front view let's place this echo sphere here shift d x and place it and shift r to repeat that action so i think these many are fine now select all the echo spheres here shift d z and place it above shift d z and place it below so still if you want to increase the count you can do that so let's do that so select this uv sphere press h on the keyboard to hide them let's select this echo spheres here shift d z and select this shift d and z so press 3 for side view and now select all these echo spheres shift d y axis and let's place them here so i think these many are fine so now let's bring back our uv sphere so alt h so now let's increase the scaling of uv sphere so select this uv sphere increase the scaling so that all the echo spheres will be inside our uv sphere let's select every them now and place it here now we need to apply the scaling so select this uv sphere go to this object apply apply scale now if i play this we will have that animation done perfectly 
So once you are happy with the simulation, we need to break the simulation before rendering this one. So come to this scene properties, come to this rigid body world. Here we got this catchy options, right? Come to this catchy options. And by the way, if you want to increase or reduce this uh, simulation speed, you can do that. Now if I play this, this will be the actual speed. And now if I reduce this to 0.5, and now if I play this, you can see the simulation will be slow. So depending upon your requirement, you can select this option. So I will be leaving this to 0.5. And after that, we can see here we got the simulation start and end frame. By default, this will be set to 250 frames. If you want to have the simulation to be a bit longer, increase this end frame value. So here, if I increase this to 350, the simulation will stay up to 350 frames. So here, I don't want those many frames. So I will change this to 200 only. And timeline, I will reduce this to 200. Okay. So now just click on this bake button. So here this bake is done and now let's see so here we got our simulation so if you want to still add few more objects in this UV sphere delete the bake add them and again bake this once again now let's add materials so here I will be using this blender market to get the materials so I'll move to this material viewport here and come to this material options and let's search for glass so here we got this glass materials and by the way this blender kit is free to download we'll get a lot of resources from here so in this materials i think i will apply this glass material just click on that make sure this object is selected and click on this glass material and that material will be applied on this glass now select the floor and for floor i will be using wood and here we got this wood materials right so here i will select this wood material just simply select that one so here you can see I have applied materials onto this and for this ecosphere also I will apply some materials so select one of the ecosphere here and from this I will select chrome material to apply on this ecosphere so I will select this chrome material so it is applied to this single ecosphere right so we need to have that material to rest of this ecosphere so being selected that one hold shift key and select all the ecospheres now come to this material properties click on this drop down and select copy from material so now all these ecospheres will have the same material so now come to this render region come to this world properties click on this yellow dot select this environment texture and here i will be using hdra from polyheaven which is also free to download so click on this open and i will select the hdra like i sell this one open image so we got hdra now come to this render settings enable ambient occlusion and distance i will change this to 5 or else let me reduce this to 3 now enable this screen space reflections refractions also so if you want to enable motion blur to get some motion blur applied you can do that and come to this film option and click on this transparent to get the transparent background so after that let's add a camera so go to this add camera Control alt 0 to see through camera press and on the keyboard come to this view option and lock this camera to 3d cursor and camera to view option now we can adjust the camera position here so once the camera is set come to this output properties here we can set the resolution so currently the resolution is set to full HD and let's enable this render region crop to render region frame rate here you can set that i will leave this to 24 frames and frame start and end 1 to 200 is fine because i have set this 200 frames only now we need to select an output folder where we can save the output files so click on this and select a folder so here i have selected a folder and file format you can choose either png or jpeg here i will leave this to png only and once this is done if you want to add sunlight in the scene to get the shadows you can do that so go to this add come to this light options and select sun so once everything is done just click on this render and render animation so in this way we can create this kind of cool animations using rigid body physics in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye